Can you imagine a way of organizing with other people around the world without knowing each other and establishing your own rules and making your own decisions autonomously all encoded on a blockchain? Well, DAO are making this real. DAO are an effective and safe way to work with like-minded folks around the globe. Think of them like an internet-native business that's collectively owned and managed by its members. They have built-in treasuries that no one has the authority to access without the approval of the group. Decisions are governed by proposals and voting to ensure everyone in the organization has a voice. No CEO can authorize spending based on their whims and no chance of a dodgy CFO manipulating the books. Everything is out in the open and the rules around spending are baked into the DAO via its code. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Metaverse Economy channel. In this video, I'm going to break down the concept of DAO, helping you to understand the ideals, promises, and challenges of DAO and whether they could replace your employer one day. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch more videos like this. DAOs, short for Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, are often referred to as the next generation of organizational structure, where a community of like-minded people is working together towards a common interest, without a central authority figure leading the way. A form of business and community organization in the blockchain and crypto sector since Bitcoin's founding, DAO are now a topic of public conversation after a group called Constitution DAO composed of 17,437 people who came together through word of mouth led a flash mob, pooled over $40 million in funds to try to buy a 243-year-old original paper copy of the U.S. Constitution. While Constitution DAO ultimately failed in its mission, losing out to a higher bidder, the DAO did its job and it is showing the world how technology can replace the hierarchy of leaders, managers, and staff that have long run and defined traditional organizations. The term DAO refers to an organization that is governed by smart contract algorithms without the need for a central decision maker and classical company hierarchy. Imagine a corporation without a C-suite or a nonprofit without an executive director that reports to a human board of directors. DAO are organizations that can function leaderlessly and autonomously. The consensus protocol of a DAO is based on smart contracts that live on the blockchain. Smart contracts are essentially self-verifying, tamper-proof protocols that are programmed to execute automatically once certain pre-established criteria are met. These algorithms can incorporate complex sets of internal and external information and eliminate the need for human intervention, thanks to their inherent immutability. DAO are decentralized since no single entity has the authority to overrun the smart contract algorithms to set in place they're usually governed by a community of stakeholders with predefined governance protocols designed to advance the network towards a common economic incentive. One of the most important features of DAO is that they provide instant trust and transparency for organizations and institutions to work toward a common without participants having to know one another. The rules of a DAO are recorded on a transparent, secure, and open source blockchain ledger, which helps make sure that no stakeholder can override them in the future, at least not without a majority vote so the organization only acts to advance the common interest of the community. But how can computer code recognize what is in the organization's best interest? To keep a DAO focused and community-minded, the computer code running a DAO will employ complex economic mechanisms like game theory to align its interests and future direction with its mission. The DAO shareholders also make decisions by setting forth and voting for proposals. Stakeholders have governance tokens that are used to cast votes. The more tokens a stakeholder has, the bigger the impact of his or her vote on the network. To take effect, proposals have to be approved by the majority of the governance tokens and comply with the DAO consensus rules. You might be wondering, why DAO? Well, decentralized autonomous organizations were built to eliminate the risk of human error and faulty decision-making from an organization's governance. DAO also appeal to investors who are looking to avoid organizations with central decision-makers, who may not have the community's best interests and values in mind, whose business judgment can be clouded by prejudices. In economics, this is referred to as the principal agent problem, and it describes a situation where the agent, for instance, an investment manager can make important decisions without much involvement by the principal, in this case, investors or a company. Due to the lack of transparency in a classical corporate hierarchy, shareholders or investors may never find out about an unscrupulous agent acting in his self-interest. DAO aim to be transparent by building their organization directly on a shared, open-source blockchain platform. This allows the organization and all of its decisions to be fully visible to all parties involved. The immutability of smart contract algorithms will preserve the organization's economic and any other interests on a tamper-proof shared ledger where all actions and transactions are recorded, for all to see. This steers the organization toward its shareholders' common goals. Another advantage of DAO, at least in theory, 
is that any stakeholder can have genuine input by using the governance tokens to submit improvement proposals. These proposals will only go into effect if the majority of the token holders agree. Each stakeholder can cast their proposals and votes regardless of their position in the organization. While Bitcoin is arguably the world's first DAO, the more famous and infamous incarnation of a decentralized autonomous organization was formed seven years after Bitcoin's birth. In April 2016, the DAO launched after a month-long ICO or initial coin offering. The idea was to create an automated investment fund where investors could anonymously send funds in exchange for governance tokens that would allow them to cast their vote on upcoming projects and proposals. The DAO raised the equivalent of $150 million from its ICO, making it the largest crowdfunding effort up to that point. The DAO was built on the Ethereum network, using smart contract algorithms to secure its governance structure and economic incentives. But shortly after its launch, the DAO suffered an attack that stole $50 million or a third of the funds raised in its ICO. The hack succeeded because the DAO codebase contained vulnerabilities. To stop the cyber attack, the Ethereum blockchain performed a hard fork, causing Ethereum to split into two different blockchains today's Ethereum, where the stolen funds were reversed and returned, and Ethereum Classic, where the original blockchain kept going and the hack funds were never recovered. This is still referred to as one of the biggest hacks in cryptocurrency exposing the risks of DAO and diminishing the trust of investors. While the DAO failed, there are several other notable examples of the DAO today. DA Ostack, an open source project focused on building decentralized governance frameworks, is yet another DAO. DA Ostack offers fully decentralized autonomous business models where each business function is replaced by smart contract algorithms. Think of DA Ostack as a pre-built template for launching a decentralized autonomous organization. Another prominent example of a DAO is Maker DAO, a decentralized governance community that is the issuer of the stablecoin DAI. MakerDAO has a decentralized governance structure, where stakeholders use MKR tokens to cast their suggestions and votes on protocol changes. The Switzerland-based Gelrida ecosystem is a decentralized autonomous blockchain software company that offers public, private, and hybrid blockchain implementations as a service. Gelrida strives for greater scalability, by separating their transactional coins used for smart contracts and their governance tokens used within the organization. Decentralized autonomous organizations enable a community to work towards a common goal without the need for a centrally coordinating entity. DAO resolve the issues of trust by programming their governance rules and smart contract algorithms to steer the organization towards the common interest of the participants. Despite their potential as a new and disruptive organizational structure, DAOs still face issues related to their security and legality. There is also a lack of understanding by new investors looking to get involved, not to mention the technical competence required to maintain and secure the underlying infrastructure and consensus mechanism. The main driving force behind DAO is their use cases, which will continuously increase as we make advancements in artificial intelligence, automation, the Internet of Things, EOT, and blockchain technology. One of its most sought-out use cases is DAC, or Decentralized Autonomous Companies, that ditch the traditional corporate hierarchy in favor of decentralization. As internet-native organizations, DAO have the potential to change the way corporate governance works completely. While the concept matures and the legal gray area they operate in is cleared, more and more organizations may adopt a DAO model to help govern some of their activities. At this point, I'll leave something for you to ponder on. As the economies head towards increasingly decentralized, do you think DAO could be in the future of government? You can leave your answers in the comment box below, and while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.